All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later on for some Mardu control. Um, this deck's you know pretty fun. We're basically what we what we have going on here is we are trying to take advantage of theater horrors and really Angrath. Like those are like kind of our our key cards here, our theater horrors and Angrath. Uh, those are our, our main win conditions and what we're going to be. Uh, using to either gain card advantage for ourselves with Theater of Horrors or take away cards from our opponent with Angrath. So um, we kind of finished the game off with uh, all these burn spells and Theater of Horrors and of course Angrath like all the chip damage going through and uh, play a long game and so to keep from dying we got plenty of removal we got lots of Mortifies and Bedevils, Contempts, Kai's Wrath you know so we got lots of removal to try to uh, keep the game going as long as possible and end up, uh, you know, winning it later on. So let's try it out. Mardu Control. I hope everybody else is having a really good Saturday as well. If you're having a good weekend. Ooh, we are facing the Lone Wolf. Alright, I'll keep it. We got four lands and an Angrath with an early removal spells. Uh, yeah, I'll just play this thing. Then all the other lands will come into play on tap now. Wand of Chaos is a mana dumped and can exhaust the opponent's answers and card draw. I swear it works. Wand of Chaos. What's Wand of Chaos? I feel like that's a like an M nineteen. You sure that's a card? I just typed in Wand of Chaos and that card didn't come up. Chaos Wand. Okay, that's a little different. So it's a three mana artifact that has four in tap. Oh yeah, you exile, okay, that one. Uh, exile cards from the top of the opponent's library until they exile an instant of sorcery and then you can cast that card without. Uh, using its mana cost, right, that card. Um, yeah, I'm not too, not too interested in that card, honestly. I'll, um, I'll make use of that later. It can certainly be pretty fun, I suppose, um, but not sold that card's gonna be very good. The multicolor filler button, you have to only have the two colors you want for multicolor. You can't have like you can't have like colorless selected. You may have colorless selected. You are only hurting yourself. Alright, this next turn we can have Electro Dominance plus Mortify and take out a Jade Light Ranger and a Branch Walker. Discovery. That's not a card you see too often. Hey Liz. Girl Stompy felt pretty good. We just killed people really quickly. We went 5 0 in a really quick league. Uh, we had. We, we did face two decks that weren't necessarily uh, real good to start with. Excellent choice. But still couldn't have done too much better. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it could be a legit sideboard card against es Esper Control. That Chaos Wand, they don't have... Wait. Wait, what? Wait, cancel. Go back. They just gave me Kai's Wrath? They're just happy to have me just Kai's Wrath here? I was just ex expecting them to give me Bedevil.
There's their black mana. Shaper Sanctuary. Uh oh. All right, gonna steal their creature. Ever seen war? Your crew for my freedom. <laughs> and hit them with the creature. A fair price. So we get to play this Blood Crypt. Well, from the theater of horrors. Yeah, we got some new emus, little cheeky. There's some good ones. Born's annoying. I like me some Angrath though. No fire, Sorry, no steel. We already have Theater Fours that gain us a lot of cards. I guess that's why my opponent gave me the Kaiserath earlier, because they wanted me to use the Kaiserath. No fire, no steel. We of course have another one here. And now it's just see if we can deal eleven damage to the opponent. That's our game. What's our, our win con killing the opponent? They're at oh, this dealing damage. Theater deals damage. Angrath deals damage. How this things. thing goes is up to you, pal. That can't help you now. All right, so I think let's see if we got him. Oh yeah, we definitely have him now. No fire, no steel. One, two, three, four, five, six. I did take out some of our answers to... I did take out the Consecrates, um, which were the Consecrate Consume, which were, like, good answers to... Uh, to Carnage Tyrant in the past. So I want the Spyglass for Vivian. Carnival Cardin is just good at killing all their early things. So I want these three cards. Um, not sure what I want to take out, honestly. Yeah, we're we're doing good with Marty Control. We've we just played one game, so you know, welcome you here right on time. Um, but we're only only played the one one game so far. Oh, nice, Alex. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty good deck. Mardu mid range with re, like rekindling Phoenix and Seraph. Um, those Seraph of the scales and rekindling Phoenix are both awesome. Yeah, I, I could definitely see a good Mardu mid range with those cards and Grath history Benalia. Yeah. Um. Anyway. I'm going to take out a Contempt, a Dominance, and a Strike. Yeah, I shouldn't fit this. No, the strike's wrong. I gotta kill Wild Growth Walker. 
That will be fine. We'll figure it out. Our opponent had a whole lot of spells. They just kind of had like explore package and spells. I shocked in here to be able to have shock available for for a small creature, so I can still like tap out for spy glass and then have mortify and so on. It just kind of uses my mana better. Climb. Vivian Reed. So we're looking for one of our theater horrors. That'd be our, our best draw, especially with them having contempts. Yeah, with them having contempt, we certainly want to draw theater horrors. Um, no, Star Extinction's not not necessarily too slow. It, it's it's a sideboard option. Mardu is the the color indicator. Um, so Mardu decks are decks with these, these three colors, red, white, and black. Uh, in Magic, that's, that's like that color combination. Our opponent's playing Sultai, which is green, blue, and black. Yeah, those names were, um, I need to stop playing lands also here. We could draw Jaya Blard and be able to cycle away the lands. I forgot about Jaya. I didn't say I wanted to draw more lands deck. FM, FM Sita. Thanks for getting that tier one sub here. I really do appreciate that, FM. Hey, what's up, Big Show? Um, deck list, you can find exclamation point deck, get to the deck list. Yeah, we flooding. Let us begin. Good choice. No, the Jaya. Uh, it says 104. No. I, I thought I, I was even thinking like, hey, maybe I should just... Oh, they don't have double black! They don't have double black. Oh, they can't contempt. Life is not so bad. See, I'm not killing their thing because of fine finality. I don't want them to get Branchwalker back. All right, and they finally used it. Uh, 
Your patience is rewarded. Alright, we're gonna loot away these two lands. We still have the mana to play Mortify here. I'm gonna keep these lands in hand for next turn. Oh, I should probably just Mortify that Branch Walker, like, right now. Uh-oh. Well, good news is... I was going to say good news is, even if they had Vivian... Uh, we don't have any uh, theater horrors for them to destroy. The Vivian. Yep, that's what I was thinking. I should have just mortified it before. Nice work out there. All right, so Angrath can steal the Branch Walker. Can make them discard their last card, whatever that is. All right, I, I think Please I like making stop. them discard the last card. I think I can maybe. A curious choice. Can maybe fight through all of this stuff. Here, no fire. Ah, uh, it's just no the incubation steel. druid. I will return. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Stop drawing lands, deck. Make all sales. Certainly see that card being like a counter spell. Since they're just not playing it. It's not. Never seen no fire, no steel. Ah, naturalize. We don't have to worry about holding our lands anymore. Um We're not gonna be able to. We don't have a, a Jaya to be able to cycle them. So now we, we do have like the Electro Dominance that maybe we draw. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> a fair price. All right, we're still alive for now. Barely alive. We're at two, Angrath at two. Hmm, that's a good card. All right, so we've gone through 15 of our 25 lands. That's a good one too. No fire, no steel. Speaking of good cards. All right, we're still alive. Come on, Electro Dominance. Fire and fury. Probably deals a whole lot of damage. No fire, no steel. How many lands we have in play? We have uh, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So. Yeah, and Electro Dominance from now is lethal because of the Lightning Strike also. Uh... Alright, they gain a whole lot of life. So I guess I need to strike this Land War Elf. Okay, well, now I don't need to strike the land of Werewolf. Alright, I'm just gonna Kai's Wrath. No fire, 
no steel. If they would have attacked, if they would have attacked Angrath with Llanowar Elf, I would have had to um, lightning strike it so so that Angrath could steal the Hydroid Crisis. That's gonna draw them a lot of cards. Uh oh. I need my Angrath. And of course, I'm just firing off this lightning strike here because Eldest Reborn makes me discard a card. So, like, you know, we were just gonna have to discard our hand. All right, Electro Dominance, where Everything. you at? The wilds are my shield. We need to draw Electro Dominance. Kill the opponent right now. That's not it. Dang, they figured it out. <laughs> no fire, no steel. Sculpted Mine, thanks for that resub for the second month there. Thank you so much. Get some hype in the chat right there. Says, thanks, Todd, for providing a great stream. I learned a lot and enjoy watching your stream with my son. Aw. Well, well, thank you so much for that. Uh, Continued support, and you help me do this each and each and every day. Hey, Fazas. Um, so they have lots and lots of spells. I kind of want to play some duresses in here. Maybe this them playing those naturalizes the maybe the spyglass. Uh, my spy glass won't really work as as well, maybe. Let's get this other lighting strike back in here. Um... <laughs> now I probably won't be giving Chaos Wand a run soon. Do I need the second Electro Dominance? I know I know Theater Horrors would have been a great card to have like that whole game, but I'm still gonna trim one. Um, I don't think we want a, a necessarily a game with like a lot of Theater Horrors. I don't. Th I think. I don't know. I'm going to trim one. Yeah, that last game was really close. I also kind of just didn't really know exactly what else to, to trim. Could have gone down on removal, maybe. Yeah, bolus decks are definitely viable. Absolutely. Yeah. I have a Grixis discard that I like quite a bit uh, with bolus. Also, also a four-color discard as well if you want to go super greedy. Um, which, of course, you can find the list on my stream decker. And, of course, you can find the, find the videos of those on the YouTube channel. Alright, we had all those lands last game. We can, we can draw some lands here now, right? Alright, that's a start. Uh, Rakdos midrange is pretty good. Yeah, Rakdos midrange is, is just fine. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it. Uh, Gruel Stompy was honestly pretty impressive. It looked it looked better than I thought it was gonna be. Um, 
we did play a couple of decks that weren't so good to for our first couple, and I don't think we played against Sultai, I don't think. Which is which would be like a, a match you wouldn't necessarily want to face. Yeah, that's Grixis. Blue, red, black. You're correct. Yep. Yeah, Alex, I, I could take a look at it. I prefer Arena. I like playing Arena a lot more than uh, Magic Online. Hey, welcome back, Noxie. Welcome back. You can't. I've lost so New much glasses already. New glasses. There you go. I won't lose more. Our opponent's playing Vinemare also. And a bunch of, a bunch of counter magic, discard, vine mares and vine mare and carnage, carnage tyrant. It's kind of a, a tough, tough matchup. I don't I don't have any Tezzeret decks. Yeah, I think we lose too. They have a lot of stuff against control. So we thought saw them have like thought erasure and like you know all this. All this counter magic and then hexproof stuff with Carnage Tyrants and Vine Mirrors. This is tough. Yeah, I think taking out Theater was probably a mistake, but of course they would have had the Vivian to kill it. Um, I mean, I can I can get rid of Vivian right now. I, I I suppose I can just do that. But I'm just I'm just not gonna win. Yeah, I'm just I'm just not beating this Vine Mirror. Especially they just untap and have negate available. Like I, I just I'm not gonna beat that with negate. So that was sub number twenty three on the day there. Two more subs and we'll be at twenty five and it'll be pack opening time. All right, zero and one. Grufu, getting in on that sub action. And Welsh Doll as well. That's getting some pack hype in here. Thank y'all so much for that support. If you're kind of newer to the channel here, this is what I do each and every day. Um, I'm, gonna be, I'm here streaming. This is my full-time job, so I really do appreciate these uh, subs. They really do mean a whole lot. It allows me to do this. Um, and I'm here each day, 3 to 10 Eastern is when you'll find me. So we've been on for about five hours now. It's eight o'clock Eastern. We'll have a couple hours left. So if we, with this with Jun, Jun doesn't have like a good sweeper. Like this, the, the biggest pull to Mardu is having Kaya's Wrath. Is the, the big reason to play Mardu. Now I haven't talked about Watsi stopping doing GP coverage because I don't I don't know if they've made like any official announcement about that or anything and yeah I don't know of a, an official announcement they've made about that. So I, I haven't really talked about that too much. Um, Star of Extinction could certainly be a, a good card in this deck. It's it is really good. Like Star of Extinction was really good in the the previous format against the Carnage Tyrant decks. Um, so it's certainly an option. This format, there's not really nearly as many Carnage Tyrant decks because Hydroid Crisis has just kind of replaced Carnage Tyrant, and then those Hydroid Crisis decks usually have Duress and Negate, so having a seven mana spell uh, can be kind of tough. Um, Hmm. 
I want to make sure to kill that Footlight Fiend during my turn. Because if it's their turn, they get to do this. Oh, wait, they could have just... Wait, can they gutter buns? That's not only as a sorcery. They, I guess they could have just done that ability still, huh? I guess they could have just still done that ability on my turn. You're no fire, no steel. All right, now the theaters. Now we get to start playing our extra lands from the theaters and everything. Hmm. Yeah, that is... Okay, so I guess they have talked about it some. That is really unfortunate. That... Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd, I wouldn't make the same decision myself, but... I think it's kind of hard to... I don't know. I Yeah. It certainly seems like they should have coverage, but... I don't know. I guess no that's all I'd say. It's, it's really unfortunate. No I, steel. And I wish they had coverage. Alright, that's sub number 26, though, M Bronze. Thank you so much, M Bronze. So I got some hype votes in the channel. Uh, for our new subscriber. Okay, so they have... If I just... Um, I'm going to actually just Kaya's Wrath here. If I... If I just uh, use a Lightning Strike on the Graveyard Marshal, they get to make another 2-2 body. And so, with the Sweeper not likely um, being real good uh, in future turns, I'm just going to go ahead and use it there. So yeah, thanks, Ambronze. Let's see. Let's get Lyra in. Cry of the Carnarium, absolutely. Carnival can kill some stuff. Killing stuff's kind of good. And then... Maybe taking out some Bedevils and Mortifies. It's just a, a more expensive removal spell with Bedevil. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah, Jason Harry. Yeah, I guess you got you got to you get to enjoy all the emotes from that gifted sub. And speaking of gifted sub, Gothy Stitch. Putting us up to 30. Everybody get some hype in the chat for Gothy Stitch. Thank you so much. Thank you kindly. Let's get some, I'm going to get some hype boats and some foil hype boats. All right, well, Cry of the Carnarium is like the best card in our deck. Santa Gothy. Getting some good use out of our, our Santa emote. Thanks, Santa Gothi. That gets us to 30 on the day, so that means we have crossed over to two packs for this match. We're gonna go go crack open two packs after this, and we are at 97 now. And that's why I kept the hand with Cry of the Carnarium, because it is our best card. Opponent gets some triggers, but they're down to two cards. And we're at a, a healthy 13, a lucky 13. No, my Jaya Ballard. No, that Jaya was going to be so good. I was going to be able to just play Jaya, cycle through three lands. Uh, and Grath will do, but man, the Jaya was going to be no awesome. Fire, just no rummage steel. through all those lands. Oh, they had to discard an Angrath. Do they have double Angrath? 
They had double Angrath. Uh-oh. Angrath battle. No fire. You're just fuel for the fires of freedom, Kerr. Well, we're at a low, no lower fire, life total in this Angrath no battle, steel. so that's bad. No fire, no steel. Hmm. So Electro Dominance only casts cards from hand, so it will not cast Shock. Um... So I can... I think the best thing for me to do, honestly, is Electro Dominance for four. Just leave the shock there. Electro Dominance the Angrath for four. Hard a larboard. The other And larboard. steal the, the oh. Judith. Your crew. I also get a Judith field. trigger. <laughs> Which, so I guess I'm, I'm just going to do one damage to them Back with the Judith the Trigger. Chains in the storm wreck sea I go. All right. Is it a cow fight? <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. All right, first win. All right, pack time. So we haven't... Haven't gotten. We haven't gotten a Dominari or Ixalan pack in a little bit. So let's get these. Let's get some new packs. The Ravnica and Guilds of Ravnica. The Allegiance and Guilds of Ravnica. I already just have the rares for those sets. We don't. So I don't need to open up those ones. Let's open these. Let's see what we got. You're welcome, FM, saying thanks for your great attitude and age-friendly magic tutoring. P.S. Great glasses. You look like Buddy Holly. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. That Rampaging Ferocidon. Hmm. Well, we opened a Rampaging Ferocidon, even though that card's banned. And a Two-Headed Giant. That's for, of course, the format. Two-Headed Giant, I suppose. I didn't even realize the Two-Headed Giant was a card. <laughs> I knew that was a format. I didn't know that that was an actual card. Um, yeah, uh, Nexus of Gates is, is a, a good, strong deck. That's a good deck to, to play at F&M's. Yeah, I rec recommend it. It's a, it's a really strong deck. That's true. It is, it is legal in Singleton. You can play it there. Thanks, Millennium, Millennium God. Yeah, these are brand new glasses. Uh, wearing them here today for the first time. First glasses that I've gotten in, like, maybe, like, seven years. Eight years? It's been a long time since I've gotten glasses. My old glasses broke like two to three years ago. And so I'd, I've just been wearing contacts every single day. And now it's glasses time. Uh, I have negative 3.5 in one eye and negative 4.5 in the other eye for my prescription. Uh, Nexus was banned in just best of one, not in best of three. Hallowed Fountain. Be thy name. Yeah, I've heard some good things about LASIK on here. You know, like, just kind of talking about that uh, before. Other people have said that same thing, that LASIK was like their best decision. Right, we just need to get one more land, please. So I can just start carning. That's all I want to do. This looks like Esper mid-range and not Esper control with the discovery. Which I certainly hope it's as per mid-range, because we have removal for cards, but we don't really have. We're not going to be good against, um, you know, a bunch of counter magic into fairy and stuff. Especially with this hand. Let's see. 
Right, I'm doing this this two for one to try to get Karn to perfect. Karn to resolve and not be facing any pressure. So that Bellhaunt just took out three cards of mine. The Bellhaunt traded for Electro Dominance and Lightning Strike and Carnival. It's a pretty good, pretty good trade for the opponent. Yeah, right now it's eight o'clock Eastern, and I stream from three to ten. And right now it's eight. So I start streaming five hours ago from like right now. And and stream for like another stream for another couple hours. The choices we make reveal who we are. Who we are. So even though the bell haunts have been worth a whole lot of cards, you know, five cards for two bell haunts, uh, Karn should help us continually get more and more cards. Wait, are they going to let me Angrath steal that? They don't really usually play Negate, do they? Decisive action is needed. And maybe they have Negate here. That's a tilt. I guess I could have just, you know, made sure to kill Thief with the Lightning Strike Contempt. Wait for the high upside play. Yeah, we're, we're going to be fine. As long as the opponent doesn't draw... As long as they didn't get, like, a Contempt from me. They got a Theater from me? Eh. That's probably fine. They don't get to activate theater. Are you certain? They don't have red mana. So as long as the things don't deal damage to us. Oh, I should probably keep that land in hand again because of Basilica Bell Haunt. Yeah, I or I need to I need to start keeping a land in hand because of Bell Haunt. I can also go grab Mortify if I want to kill the theater, but that doesn't seem too necessary. That's true. We do get to keep Strike and Contempt now since we played that land. I'm going to keep future lands in my hand. Good choice. Good choice. Ugh. Thanks, Wendai. Uh, I have not played Treasure Map in this deck. I am a tad worried that Treasure Map plus Theater of Horrors will kind of be too many of those artifacts and enchantment things that aren't really affecting the battlefield kind of thing. Um, but I haven't tried it, to be honest. That's Hawkeye back there, by the way. Hawkeye's laying down, chilling back there. At least he doesn't have his butt up in the air. Yeah, they keep on looking at this theater for us. What was like, lost is now returned. How does this work? <laughs> Please, no I can certainly fire. see my opponent having like a no bunch of mortifies steel. in their hand. And that's what they discard. Yeah, Hawkeye now has five emotes. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let's see what we're going to do here. Can I get up? Can I get up? So I expect them to have a lot of duresses, negates, um, to ferry, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to bring in my four duresses. I'm going to take out Carnival. Um, the dealing one damage to them, to the creatures, is not going to kill a whole lot of things. Um, I think I may want to trim on Akaya's Wrath. Yeah, I'm going to trim on Akaya's Wrath. And... The Electra Dominances. Let's do that. Yeah. They were done with that game. Um, the opponent didn't have better choice with with theater the like the Thieves Sanity saw Theater Fours, a land, and a Kaya's Wrath. So Land and Kaya's Wrath weren't doing anything, so you might as well take the theater, I suppose. So it's not, like they didn't have a better choice. You remember the first time you cast Theater Horrors? What happened? Oh wow, Teamer Vanifar is already ready to go on YouTube. I gotta finish that thing out. Two, sixteen. 19. The hell are you and Marty going? Like, what do they see from our deck that they need to unmoor ego? Angrath? Alright. You don't want to bring in on more ego all the time like this. Like I don't think this is a good matchup for because it, it is just it is just card disadvantage. Um, you know here, so like it's certainly possible we just never draw the Angrath, but that does just take a you know just takes a card out of their hand, takes turn three, does nothing. You know like they basically went. On turn three, just went discard a card. I can get rid of anything. Thanks, Victor. Living or dead. I'm sorry. Was that dear to you? I'll just kill that I'm thing. Gone for now, but not forever. I don't know if that's the the best trade for me, but. I have faced worse oh, are we 1-1 one, one with the deck right now? Or are we 0-1? Did I, did I forget to update after a win? Kai's Wrath over there. What did we defeat? This is our third match. Ah, uh, yeah, we beat the gutter bones. Deck. I will defend my allies. That Mardu deck. You may regret that choice.
Elvis Reborn is really good against us. Farewell, and thank you for the lesson. So there's like reasons to get rid of the cards in my hand and reasons to keep the cards in my hand. Um, you know, between different things, uh, like, you know, Jaya wants us to keep cards in hand, their discard effects. Um, with Bell Hunt and Disinformation Campaign make me want to get rid of the cards in hand. I think I'm, with this Mortify, I'm just going to keep these things. Uh, playing out lands is better for, the, for Theater of Horrors. We want to want to play out lands for Theater of Horrors. Maybe we can stop drawing lands. Opponent seems to be drawing a bunch of lands there too. Oh, I, did I not? Oh, I forgot to. I forgot to put in the new dress art. Yeah, good call. That's gonna hurt us. Not having the good dress art in here. Just a 3-4. We don't have like a planeswalker we need to protect or anything right now. I don't want to see that discovery. Shame conceded duress art. Well, I think I think we may just be conceding here pretty soon to not even to the uh, duress art. Just to us dying. Our, our opponent does have Eldest Reborns. I think I'm going to bring in... Yeah, I think I'm going to bring in War Bosses on the play here for Game 3. War Boss is good, good at fighting against Eldest Reborn. If they have, like, Unmoored Ego in their deck, they want to do that on turn 3. I'm going to be War Bossing up. Bell Hunt, obviously, is pretty good against War Boss, though. No Angrath, no win. Alright, Kai's Wrath. Another Shock. Shock's kind of only good against Thief of Sanity. <laughs> I want to see water burn. Alright, good. I'm glad they said card and, and not theater or Jaya. Really worth without not saying theater. Theater is like our best chance of winning. A lot better chance than Karn. Karn Karn's just not gonna help help us win very quickly at all. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they saw Jaya. Alright, let's get lots of lands out because of theater. The chances of us winning this game are, of course, extremely thin. Extremely small.
So I'm going to just take Kai's Wrath out completely. What? They're playing Kai's Wrath? Well, they've seen that I don't have a single creature in my deck. So they at least know that now. Yes, fetches would absolutely be way too overpowered in the standard. Yes, you're, you're not going to... No, you should not put fetches and sh shock lands in the same standard format. Not at all. I did take out Electrodominance. Maybe need those back. Um... Yeah, I'll play that over shock. Um, what are the top three decks right now? Um, probably uh, Sultai, uh, Esper Control, and Mono Blue Aggro. Seems like a, a good top three. Um, I'm not sure if we'll get fetches in standard again. Probably. Yeah, I think you'll, yeah, we'll get fetches in standard again. Um,. I would think so. Not with, just not with lands that, not with dual lands that they can fetch, where they can only fetch basics. So if they name it Angrath again, at least we get to draw two. What do you think about a tricolor fetch, but cost two LP instead of one? What's an LP? I'll have you in chains next time. Two health? Oh, it just costs two health, but you can look at... Yeah, no, that's that's way overpowered. Yeah, that's way too powerful. Just pay two life instead of one life? Yes, that is much, much, much better, and that is, yeah, not a card you want. But you can go get, like, three, three lands. That'd be so good in the older formats. Could have just like double lighting strike to the three four and then been able to attack with everything, but I at that point I'm a little worried about another three four, maybe. I don't know. We're playing a little slower here, but we have you know a few more cards too. While we dance with the devil. Uh -huh. So if they name Karn again. They can't take this Karn here. Okay, they're naming War Boss. I say they they can't take the Karn that's that's under Theater of Horrors. So we're attacking them for seven. They're down to six. Can 
War boss is just doing everything. I will fight with honor. Awaken. Our opponent has these disinformation campaigns, so ticking up and putting a card in my hand doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So cold. Is this lethal? Alright, so if I make a 2-2. Two, two, yeah, make this a 2, 4, 6. Some solutions must be built. Yeah. Two and one. Good job, Legion War Boss. What wins, Legion War Boss or Unmored Ego? Legion War Boss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at least we didn't cast Angrath again, though. Unmored Ego did make sure we didn't cast an Angrath. Um. I don't know if I would like lower rarity planeswalkers. That'd be pretty weird. Because at, at that point, you probably just have too many planeswalkers if you have little uh, lower rarity ones. Then you probably are just going to have like the game kind of resolve just resolve too much around Planeswalkers. So hopefully this is Esper midrange again and not Esper, not Esper control. Our game one's kind of tough against Esper control. All right, go theater horrors, go. Go theater, go. Oh, they're stuck on lands. All right, this theater can get there. Uh, play Karn into a counter spell or chill. I'll probably chill. Dang, they drew a land. I was thinking they'd have Absorb, not uh, Sinister Sabotage, but yeah, Sabotage would be a bad card for me to see. So, all right, no Teferi. And I like I like just continuing to hit continuing to hit land drops. So theater is helping us do that. So I'm just paying the paying the four mana to hit a land drop. Yeah, it certainly looks like they have a counter spell. Casting this to get it. You know, to kind of get a card out of my hand and you know, use my mana kind of well. Hmm. So I can mortify the search res can't. Uh... Nah, don't need to yet. I can't, like, Mortify and Karn. You know, I can't, like, double spell. You know, I can't, like, shock them, Mortify, and cast Karn, like, whenever they, they counter the Mortify kind of thing. Uh, 
Okay, well now we can, so... Let's get this, get this thing in. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna end step Mortify. Cause you know, not letting them use that mana right there. So I'm not using this Mortify, but I'm gonna use the one in my hand. Sorry I'm late. I really should have seen that coming. Hurry! Deco Knight. Thank you so much, Deco Knight. 27 months? That's so many months. You are amazing. Thank you so much. Alright, so we are at uh, 96 here and 31. If you're a sub in the channel, make sure you get your hype votes in there for our resub there for 27 months in a row. Um, Sixty-seven. That's like six years. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, y'all. Always like showing some love to our subs. I'm sure, get some hype votes in there. Another Electro Dominance. I don't love that having all my Electro Dominances. Let's read the Franklin. I feel our opponent kept that card on top really quickly, so I kind of feel like this is going to be a Mortify coming here. So I just want to get an Electro Dominance out of here. No Mortify. Just move to discard. They did keep that card on top, right? Yeah, they didn't surveil anything to the graveyard. Maybe I can just not play anything into and absorb. Right now I can I can ping him twice. Cannot ping him three times. Right now. I can't absorb anything if I don't cast anything. That's another land, right? Perfect. Okay, so I... It had to have double negate. 
So I cast this, they absorb. Finally. And then I strike them. Boom. Nikki B, the stream's going great. Awesome stream today. Lots of people in here. Uh, we got our new emotes. Let's see, let's get Duress, Carnage, War Boss, Spyglass, taking out some Wraths, um, maybe I don't need Carnage. Do I need seven Contempts and Bedevils? Probably not. Take out two Contempts. I got a mortify. And then take out a bunch of shocks. Play Carnage. All right. Yeah. Yeah, we just sat back and just activated Theater of Horrors 20 times. <laughs> that was a pretty sweet game. Let's keep. Oh, War Boss. Hope I get to cast you on turn three. Hope I get to cast you, War Boss, on turn four. <laughs> That's the best emote. It's kind of like a taunt. Don't counter, war boss, please. Rude. That's the good part about being on the play. Get underneath absorb. So I think I would have rather have Karn get countered than war boss. Which is why I went with a the Karn there. Well, they were sure expecting War Boss. Playing Moment of Craving. Certainly did not expect Eldest Reborn. I am getting the other, the third Mortify back in the deck. Um, over one of these Bedevils and Contempts for a third game we don't get here. Uh, I wasted six hours at an IQ getting mowed over by Mono White. Aw. Sorry to hear that. Using Contempt instead of Bedevil because it uses our mana better. Oh, baby. And grab. Never seen water burn? You will. I am not going to sit this one. Let's take it back. Negate, absorb, moment of craving. I have to have two counter spells. Hmm. So I'm going to be bedevil to fairy. I have another Bedevil for another Teferi. So 
Still taking it, though. At least this these things are all just like one-for-one one answers. I guess, you know... They can't potentially have... Yeah, an Invitational Qualifier. I gotta hope my opponent taps out for at some point, but I, I don't think that they will. Yeah, I don't really know why they would tap out. But I'm just hoping they do. Because I can, I can get, like, Angrath or, or Theater Fours in at instant speed with the help of Electro Dominance. Alright, Duress is good. That one's going to help. Um, I'm not casting it now, though, because, you know, they have, like, the multiple counter spells and everything. I think right now I'm just kind of playing... Playing a little bit of like the waiting game of like opponent go to move to discard kind of thing. Uh, all right, we're just not gonna. This is just gonna be too. I can't change the duress art between matches. We're in a we're in a league right now. Hmm. I can play double theater or Angrath. One Angrath or two theaters. No steel. You think I should have gone two theaters? That's tough. Ugh. You best start thinking fast. You're on your own. It kind of felt like. It kind of felt like that my opponent. Um, had a contempt when they were willing just to, like, negate the, um, the other one. Yeah, it is kind of like a Mortify versus Contempt kind of question. Spyglass is good. Please resolve. No. I was definitely going to name Ascanta the Sunken Ruin. So can we do 26 damage to the opponent? With them having Ascanto, I don't think we can't just like sit back anymore. Do you think a hand disruption spell that looks at the top card of your opponent's library would be a card that wizards would print? No. Nope. Never seen water, no fire, no steel. All right, well, good news is Angrath resolved. That's their third Teferi. <laughs> Opponent looks at like, that's a lot of things that kill Teferi. A 
Make all Stop. sail for high and dry. So, is that all of our Angraths? No, it's two of our Angraths. Alright, can we do 25? Probably not. Is there anything better we can do here in sideboarding? So I want this other Mortify in and take a, I mean, I guess just Contempt because Exile doesn't really matter. Um, maybe other Carnage over Lightning Strike. And I guess that's it. War boss. I think I like I like War Boss quite a bit. I think I like it more than Dire Fleet Daredevil. Daredevil doesn't do a whole lot for the for us. Like, you know, at four mana we could like Daredevil a Thought Erasure kind of thing. It doesn't end the game quickly. Like, War Boss can end the game like it demands an answer immediately kind of thing. So let's go. I need to shut off all the Teferi's always, or it's either Teferi or Escanta the Sunken Ruin. I think I'm just going to go Teferi. They only have a, f a few Escantas. They are keeping. Uh, they decided to keep Negate up here instead of playing as Kanta. They do have Mortify to destroy the theater. Um. But I like, but like, if they play Mortify here, like they like tap out for Mortify, and so I can resolve the other theater. So even though, okay, well now I can cast Duress also. Eldest Reborn. So I was gonna say, even though I could have like duressed away the Mortify so they couldn't kill like my theater, I liked getting it under the counter spell. And now. We play the deal one damage to them with some creatures game. Or deal one damage to them with a theater four game. What's the new emote? We got six new emotes. We have the cat butt emote for when Hawkeye gets in there. We have the five win dream emote, which is still alive right now in this league. We have our pack opening emote. We have the GG emote. Um, our final boss emote. 
and the Santa gift emo. Or people gift out subs. So we'll fight through that. Certainly need to mortify this as Kanta, the Sunken Ruin. So one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So I cannot strike plus carnage plus mortify. I can carnage plus mortify. Played a land already, right? Yeah, I guess I already did. That was a mistake playing that land. Well, they flipped that thing already? Oh, dang. Jurassic, you're a little late. Yeah, this Kanta flipped is going to be really hard for me to beat. That's all. I was trying to bait the counters out with everything else because I wanted to save the Mortify last. Um, no! I was gonna say that we still have a chance as long as we still have Theater of Horrors in play, though. Ugh. We could do. We could deal with not drawing lands anymore. How many basics? I think there's maybe like three basics or so. No, one. Just the one. Just the swamp. Evil must not be tolerated. <laughs> there is great power in the things we make. Do not me. Well, two two little, a little two two guy. Yeah, Spyglass is aiming to fairy right now. Oh wait, I should just cast. Lightning strikes have been really bad. The Devil's a fine draw. Take out whatever the Elder Shiborn gets, but... Ascanta's just gonna take over. I mean... So, like, there's two cards to name with Spyglass. Ascanta the Sunken Ruin and Teferi. They have four Teferis and like two to three Ascantas. We already knew that they had one Ascanta that was going to destroy with Mortify that I did. So they only had either one or two more Ascantas that I really had to worry about with, with myself naming Teferi with Spyglass. 
and they found the other Ascanta and didn't find any I fairies. For my friends. That's pretty unfortunate. There is always another fight. Evil cannot withstand a righteous. Yeah, would it? You know, if they're drawn to fairies. That's fine. But nope. So they found the one other spyglass or the one other Escanta. They they could potentially have three Escantas. <laughs> yep, Chandler, that's the goal. Yeah, they drew no Teferis and just all counter magic. The first half of the game and. We are one away from killing them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I can't do this. We're just we're just one away from killing our opponent. I mean, it is is this getting better? I don't have bane fire. I mean, I don't know if they'll ever tap out again with Absorb. I mean, we put them down to one. We can't. We can't ever win, though. Uh, thanks to Absorb and everything. Well, now I just can't win. But yeah, could have put him down to one. As long as they did not have negate, that is. I mean, if we do it, we're just mathematically dead. Like we can't, yeah, we can't, can't possibly win if we do that. So what we, what I, what could have happened is that we draw another land, and our opponent um, tap out again with like the Ascanta, tap underneath, underneath three at least, and then we could go for it. Because if we just draw one more land, we actually have lethal, um, or like a duress or something like that. Yeah, tough game. I I thought we were in a pretty good spot. Um, you know, it turned out if I would have named Ascanta with the Spyglass, you know, maybe we get there. Um, that, you know, just Ascanta is just a such a good card. But so is Teferi. That's the problem. They have two really good cards. Two cards to name a Spyglass. Two cards you got to name. Um, you got to shut down the, the two of them. Um, we have... A few too many dead cards in against control. You know, even though we were able to take out all the shocks um, and Kaya's wraths, we still have like all these lightning strikes, which aren't necessarily that good either. But there we go. So um, yeah. So if you're watching this later on on YouTube, of course, please don't uh, forget to hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.